What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the U-verse? <laughs> it's your boy Mountain Moto, and I apologize. I've been gone for a while. Uh, very good reason for that. Duchess, well, as some of you may know, Duchess decided to go Ducati on me and uh, broke apart that any intelligent engineer would have reversed the mortise joint and the repair would have been a couple hundred dollars and it would have taken me until the parts came in and I would have completed the repair myself. <laughs> but that was not the case. Ducati being Ducati, they put the female end of a mortise joint on a rod that, or on a shaft that required a total engine teardown. And I've spent the last month and a half, two months finding an alternative fix and I think I found it. So tomorrow the parts are finally set to come in and uh, I should be able to get Duchess back on the road. Very, very happy with the repair that, that happened. Um, I think we're good to go. Uh, as soon as these parts come in, a few little parts that had to be flown in from Italy, of course. And uh, so they took uh, almost two weeks now for me to get, actually it's been over, just a day over two weeks, 15 days for me to get the parts in as long as they show up tomorrow. So uh, normal programming should resume as soon as I can get some footage. It's been an absolutely beautiful winter here in Colorado and uh, should be able to get some riding in, I hope got a little bit of footage I just uh, been focusing on trying to get Duchess up and running so I apologize for leaving you guys stranded but on a side note we're doing something a little different tonight tonight we are heading off to a Nissan press release that my buddy my brother Dave in called me up and said I've got a spare ticket you want to go <laughs> yeah I'm a geek free tickets to the Last Jedi, I'm in. Sign me up, Scotty. Oh, wait, that's Star Trek. Go ahead, flame in the comments. Um, I'm a big fan of both, so I'm not one of those one of those geeks that limits myself to just one universe. I love Star Trek. I love Star Wars. I love Firefly. I love uh, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I'm a geek, so embrace it. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm fighting this cold. It's almost gone. So tonight we're heading off to that, to the press release. And on the way home, I'll give you guys my first thoughts of The Last Jedi. I know it came out a couple days ago, but I'm going to try to whip this out real quick. So first media badge, and it's for a movie. Yippee. X-Wing fighters when I was a kid. I swear my dad didn't buy them for us. My son was crazy. He still got them in the packing. He's got... Oh, God. No, I played with mine. He did. He bought them. I broke the head off of my emperor. So to all the vloggers, see, it's not about the size. It's about the quality. It's... It, Recording? Yeah, now it's recording. Yeah, now the little blinky. The, going. This little red light. Yeah. Professional media. Yeah. Both of us. This is my brother. 
Dave Polly. Check out his channel. Uh, I'll put a link down below. He's going to have a travel channel because he's going to Australia next year. It's going to be turning out some really cool stuff. He'll be down there with uh, Outback Patty and Alice Springs. So make Hi, sure to. Patty, I'm looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> so, this is one of those rare occasions where I'm in a movie theater. Really nice movie theater, but doesn't have the, uh, the assigned seating. We don't get the leather recliners. We get glasses. But we get 3D glasses. Yeah. We get media badges. We get free popcorn. We get free soda. And we get to see The Last Jedi. So as promised, here it goes. With Lucasfilm for Rogue One, a Star Wars story with the new Nissan Rogue. The chemistry between the design studios from Nissan and Lucasfilm is really tremendous. So we're back this year collaborating with Lucasfilm. And the artist in Industrial Light and Magic. Make oh, that's cool. Oh. My eyes hurt. I want to grab it. I don't know. <laughs> you do that. Uh, the last Jedi thanks go out to my brother Dave again check out his channel up in the corner up on the cards and of course in the link down below in the description he is going to be traveling uh, early next year to Australia so his channel is going to expand quite a bit definitely check him out give him a look Thanks also to Nissan USA for the opportunity and for putting on that event. It was very interesting. It was quite cool. It was a, a cool new experience to be able to take a camera into a movie theater and see quite a few other cameras in the movie theater. That's, uh, that's quite odd. Obviously, I didn't record the movie. Um, not going to spoil anything for anybody especially any of my fellow Star Wars geeks out there. That movie felt very familiar <laughs> in many parts. It felt like the best, uh, some of my favorite scenes from The Empire Strikes Back, some of my favorite scenes from Return of the Jedi, some of my favorite scenes from uh, The Force Awakens even, even some recent ones. There were some favorite scenes and, and themes from uh, A New Hope and pretty much every single one of the Star Wars movies. It, the entire... The entire screenplay, the entire script, felt like a compilation of favorite scenes wrapped around a new story. And I'm excited to see where this new story is going to take us in this new Star Wars universe. It feels like they're reinventing the Star Wars universe in the same way that Star Trek has reinvented its universe around... Um, the Spock failure but it's it's pretty cool um, definitely go check it out and form your own opinions if you've seen it already I invite you to share your comments down below let me know what you think and I will follow up as I always do with every comment posted with some of my thoughts on the movie but I don't want to post them here in this video I'd rather hear from you so until the next time ladies and gentlemen of the universe you know I love each and every one of you keep that shiny side up peace <laughs>